Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another edition of Crush Lusher Television. Alright, we are doing surface area. Surface area is the area on all the surfaces. So we have to find out how many surfaces there are first. We'll look at the rectangular prism. So up here, we see that we have top and a bottom, front and a back, and a left and a right. So that would be six faces. Write that in. So we got six faces. So take a look at this picture right here. How do we find the area of all six faces? No problem. Well, first we know that the front and back, that's what we're going to start with because that's congruent, okay? The front and the back. So here's the front. You can't see the back, but they are the same length and width. So the front, that would be 11 right here. And what's this side? Because length times width is the area of a rectangle, right? That would, oh, so if this is 6, that's 6. So it's 11 times 6. That's the area of the front which is 66. I'm going to times it by 2. Why? Because I have to count for the front and the back. So that would be 132 centimeters squared. And I got the front and the back. That's 2 down. I have uh, 4 more to go. What am I going to do now? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Trace this with me. Now let's do the side. See the side right there? So side 1 and side two. That's what I'm going to look at. So the left and the right. So the side one, side two. So that's going to be five times six, which is dirty. So that's the one side times two would be 60. So now I have front and back, left and right accounted for. What am I going to do now? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the bottom and the top. So here's the top right here and the bottom is the same. So the bottom, I usually go from the bottom first because you can see the dimensions easier. See how the dimensions right here on the bottom? Bottom and top. So that would be 11 is the base and the height is 5. So that's 55 is the bottom times 2 to account for the top. So that would be 110 centimeters squared. Got it. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, here is two, four, six. So now I have all six of the faces, and here are the areas, so I just add them up. 132 plus 60 plus 110. Put in your calculator. Do, 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 do. What do you get? Oh, yeah, 302 centimeters squared. Got it. So those are the area of all six surfaces of our rectangular prism. Okay? Boop. Let's try another one. All right, here you go, right here. So, in your notes, check it out. So first, I want to do the front and the back. So front and the back. So those are congruent. That's what I'm going to count for first. So the front is 7. And what's the height here? Oh, if that's 2, this is also 2. So it's 7 times 2, which is 14. Okay. So that's the, that's the area of the front. What's the area of the back? Oh, that's the same thing. So I times it by 2, and I get 28 centimeters squared. Easy. Okay, what am I going to account for next? Oh, yeah, the sides. Side 1, side 2, or left and right, whatever you want to put. Left and right, side 1, side 2, whatever makes the most sense for you. So this is going to be 4 times 2. 4 times 2, which is... Eight. So that's the, the right side. So I'm going to times that by 2 to get my left side also right here because these two are congruent. So it would be 16 centimeters squared. Okay. Got that so far. Okay. So what am I going to do now? Oh, I need the bottom and the top, don't I? So here's the bottom right here. Here's the bottom right here. So that would be bottom and top. So that's going to be 7 times 4, which is 28. Times 2 is going to be 56 centimeters squared. So 2, 4, 6, all 6 faces accounted for. Now we're going to add it up. So get your calculator out. 28 plus 16 plus 56 is 100. 100 centimeters squared. Got it. 
Okay, looking good right now, looking good, looking good. All right, so you see this one right here? I want you to try it, okay? Pause the video and see if you can get it. Ready, set, go. All right, welcome back. Let's see if we got it. Here you go. So, let's try it. So the front and back. I'm going to go over this one a little faster now. Front and back, so that would be 10 times 6 which is 60 times 2, which is 120 inches squared, okay? Now I got left and right here, left and right. So left and right, I can abbreviate if I want to, because I know what I'm doing now. So I got five times six, which is dirty, times two, because I have left and a right side, a face. So 60 inches squared, got it. And what am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, yeah, the bottom and the top. So the bottom, right here, the bottom and top face. So that would be 10 times 5, which is 50, times 2, which is 100 inches squared. 2, 4, 6 faces accounted for. Add it up. 120 plus 60 plus 100. Area of all the faces is 280 inches squared. Hopefully you got that. Hopefully you got that. All right, ready for the next one? I think you are. Boop, right here. Ooh, what's this one? How is this one different? Well, that's not that is a rectangular prism, but it's a specific kind. It is a, oh, a cube. It is all squares. All the sides, all the faces are congruent. So what does that mean? Okay, so there's a shorter way of doing this since it's a cube. We can do it the old way if I want to, but you're going to get the same thing. So, Let's do it this way. So the front of the cube, what's the area of the front? Well, that's 5 times 5, which is 25. Now, if, one, if the front is 25, look, the left and the right is also 5 times 5. The bottom and the top is also 5. 5 times 5 is everywhere. And so 25 is one face. How many faces do I have? six because they're all congruent. They're all five times five. And so my total surface area here is 150 centimeters squared. Got it. Why? Because 25 centimeters squared, that's one area, and all six faces are congruent on a cube. So I multiply it by six. So it's a little faster with the cube. Okay? Try this cube. What's the surface area of that? Ready, set, pause the video, go. All right, cool, let's try it. So the front, what was that? Three times three, right here, three times three, which is nine centimeters squared. Nine centimeters squared is one face, and all faces are congruent of this cube, and there's six total faces, so that would be 45, sorry, my bad, 54 centimeters squared. Got it. Okay, now look at this right here. So now we have one, two, three. Flip the page to this. See if you can get it. Pause the video, and I will reveal the answers to all three once you unpause it. Ready, set, all three. Do them right now. Pause. All right, great. Let's see if you got it. Number one, what's the answer? Oh, yeah, D. Got it. Number two, what's the answer? Whoop, 108. Got it. And last one, number three, what was the answer? Oh, 16. There, got it. Hopefully you got the whole thing. All right, so now we're going to go on to this. All right, so this is the end of this video. There's going to be another video about the soup can. Okay, go watch that video on the website. Ready, set, go.